Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I will be giving my review for a Norwegian holiday. Um, this is our first three back after an eight film uh, slog fest, in a way, of uh, Thanksgiving films from Hallmark. Um, so, I didn't watch any this week, or uh, last week after watching the eight. I took a week's break, or five day break, because I knew I was, I was actually excited for these next three coming up, because, uh, especially this one I'm going to review today, because it has Rhiannon Fish in it, one of my favorite Hallmark actresses. I think she's terrific. She's my top five, probably even top three actresses with Hallmark. So, I went in, I'm not going to say I went in with high expectations because her movies, especially uh, as of late, have been a letdown for me because she's great in them, but the scripts just aren't great. Uh, so, I went in with lower expectations, but still excitement to see her for an hour and a half on the screen. Or two hours, whatever. But... Unfortunately, I still did not like this film. Now, this film, a Norwegian Holiday, or My Norwegian Holiday, get decent score reviews, decent scores. There was people that enjoyed this one. Uh, my friend uh, that I have a podcast with, Noah, he enjoyed this one. Um, so we'll be talking about this on the podcast. We'll obviously have different opinions, but um, I just did not like this film. Um, basically, it's JJ grieving the loss of her grandmother, jumps at a chance to join a new join a new friend Henrik on a trip to Norway to discover her grandmother's history and look into how she landed a troll figurine from his hometown. Basically, this movie it jumps you right in. You hit the ground running with this. Um, and it felt too fast for me. I felt like I needed more build up in the beginning. Um, and I even said that to my friend. And I texted him. Like, I was like, they just really... It, it almost feels like you're just thrown right in the middle of the movie. But I said, you you pretty much just hit the ground running and... I was like, it's too fast. You know, I, they need to slow it down. Like, give me a little more details. Give me a little more uh, build up. But basically, they're in a coffee shop, and this guy gets broken up with, and um, he ends up accidentally taking her co uh, Rhiannon's coffee, and um, then. Um, she ends, get, she ends up getting another ring, gets another one, and he, as they're going out, he ends up trying to help her, and only makes it worse, and knocks the coffee out of her hand, and, um, uh, ends up, her papers go, her school papers go flying anywhere, because she's a substitute teacher, but, um, and he offers her, he, they go to, he, uh, follows her to the school, because she, missed one of the papers and he's taking her the paper back to where she's uh goes to school where she's teaching at and he ends up offering her the ticket that the girl didn't take uh to go to his country back to his back to his home uh, home country and she ends up basically being forced to go by her boss it says here, you know, in the synopsis here on Letterbox, it says she does it um, to discover the, her grandmother's history, but really she's sort of forced to do it. Her boss basically says, if you want this, you have to go to, Nor uh, to Norway. So, um, you know, she ends up going and Honestly, the movie just felt like there was so many things going for it, going in it between her 
getting to know his family, her getting to know him, her trying to figure out about this doll. And to me, it just, every, it just didn't work. I don't know what it was. I know the guy for me, what's his name? Um, David Elsendorn. Elsendorn. I didn't really like him. I thought he was a very uh, bad actor. I don't feel like he really put enough emotion into it when you put him alongside Rhiannon, who does an amazing job, who gives you so much emotion and passion with her acting. Um, that you put him alongside her, and he just felt very bland, very dull, just not that great. Um, which hurt with the chemistry because I didn't really feel the chemistry between them. Um, the cinematography, you know, seeing Norway was it was a be it was beautiful in itself. But this is a Christmas movie. It's supposed to be a Christmas film. There was n hardly any Christmas feel to this movie. It just felt like they were. To me, it would have been better if you set this more at a different time of the year, like spring or summer, and had it not be a Christmas film because it was just very dull, very bleak, um, and uh, just very not Christmassy. You know, it was nice seeing the... Excuse me. It was nice seeing, you know, his country and everything, but... Um, it was just so bleak and bland that it just really, su uh, really sucked that we couldn't get a more um, nicer looking film. Um, but and like I said, I don't know what it was with the with the storyline, but it just bored me. Um, I didn't get invested in this troll story that they were going with, trying to find troll gnome. Was it gonna? Yeah, troll. Um, I couldn't get into that. I, I, I don't know if it's because they just didn't focus on it enough or what it was. Um, and then you had the story going on with our, you know, with um, Henrik um, being a former uh, professional skier who got hurt and is trying to work his way back. I guess I should say current, but he's trying to work his way back. You had that storyline going on where the town's sort of hating him for it because he didn't place in whatever uh, Olympic thing he did. Um, but yeah, I think there was just so much going on. They couldn't flesh things out well enough because of that. And I, I just couldn't get invested into this story. It just, everything combined just really dr dragged this movie down for me. And I ended up giving this film... A one out of five. Um, I gave it the one out of five for mostly Rhiannon. Um, I thought she did a terrific job as usual. She always gets at least a star from me for this one. I would say I could give it a little higher for, you know, the country and everything. But, like I said, the, the bleakness of it, the dreariness of it, just and the, the non-Christmas feel to it just really drug that down too much for me to, to give it a star for that. Um, but, you know, it, it, it sucked. I, I love Rhiannon Fish, like I said. I just wish she got, for me personally, got better scripts. Um, you know, I want to see her in better movies. I want to see her. She had a great one this year with a picture of her with Tyler Hines. I want those movies for her. I want the the big uh, the big titles, the big stars to star alongside of her. She deserves that. Um, I think she's proven herself enough to get that. And, you know, she just still isn't getting handed those scripts for some reason. But, um, but yeah, one out of five for me on this one. Definitely not what I wanted, but it is what it is. So, that is everything for my review. So, Please come like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for our video, and we'll see you all in the next one.